Hello there, everyone. This is Antok here with Slickster Gaming, and welcome back to some more Broken Age. <sighs> it's a game of two characters, and we have two people here to talk about it. Sup, way off. Hello, everybody. We're here, we're ready, and uh, yeah, so there is a character in this building that you're in uh -huh. that you may recognize the voice of. Oh dear. Well, I didn't recognize Jack Black, so... You did not recognize Jack Black. I did not. I'm, I'm to, wondering to if you fair, get this one. To, to, to be fair, um, I haven't seen Jack Black in a lot of things. Like, I'm aware of him. Like, I know he was in the... Uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the game, but you played it on the channel where he was a rock Brutal star. Legend. Brutal Legend. Yeah. It's, it's actually a kind of interesting game, I have to say. Like, I'm not a I was... guy, but like, that, the fact that that game exists is just interesting in yeah, itself. Yeah, I was not sure about it, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it. And I'm like, that was actually kind of neat. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, this this character, I think you have better odds of getting the voice. Mm -hmm. The the only other property I know Jack Black from, or that I've actually watched him in, I mean, was School of Rock. Great movie. I never I never watched his Jumanjis or his. I uh, haven't yet. In any of his other stuff, I don't think I've seen any of his other movies actually. Hmm. But we in a right. cabinet because we fell down from the Bird City. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. I like how shiny the sun is. What did oh, you do? Oh, good job! And we're just gonna steal it. All right. I'm I'm honestly surprised you clicked on it. I was like, I'm gonna have to tell him to go back and click that. Nah, no. Nope. I I saw a thing. I was like, click thing. I wanted to click this because it looks like piano, but apparently I can't click it. So we go in here. Uh, yeah, oh. Back to Mary Law. Oh no! Oh no! What have I done? Yep, you went back to Mary Loft. I thought I was gonna go into a room. We don't, we don't want to be here. This is a silly place. Oh wow, we uh, we caused some problems here. Yeah, you did. Don't care. Did he just say hello? Nope, nobody came. Don't, nope. There's no one to say hello to. Right. We're just gonna go over here. I wanna go downstairs? Hi, uh, scared-looking person. Well, I mean, he just heard something crash through his house and now so... he has a home invader yeah who is a thief because i stole his part of his window yep and i can beat him with a ladder i'll bet i can make a million off of this idea hi listen i'm sorry i didn't know you had feelings okay what i do have feelings but you didn't hurt them that old spruce thing <laughs> or maybe hey who are you my name's bella What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. All right, it's Will Wheaton. <laughs> it is Will Wheaton. Good job. I wasn't, I wasn't sure off the first line. I was like, it sounds something, but I couldn't tell. But then he, was, he started talking normal. I was like, all right, I see yep, you. That, that's Will Wheaton. Yeah. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? <laughs> that's fair. That is a good what are they you know, screaming at you? point. All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? Well, you have wooden planks <laughs> for your fireplace. Yeah, that's kind of weird. You, they don't need to be there. In fact, that seems kind of counterproductive. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, uh, did another tree fall on my roof? Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, it. Yeah, that's it. A tree fell on your roof. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? At least it's I, cool about it. I definitely haven't been cooped up for over a year. No, it's, this is not... I, I couldn't tell you so what that's you're like. you're a woodworker. Right. Could you make me something? Like what? A weapon to kill Magchatra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Phrasing. <laughs> okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Will you help me kill Magchatra? Sorry. Conscientious objector, but I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, 
Think I could kill Mob Chathra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I like, really don't think anything could kill Mog Chathra. That's like, you know, taking like a toothpick to somebody, you know? Trees. I mean, it's more effective than a fucking stool. That's true. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay, then. Well, I'll just uh, take that then. I also want this mask. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Uh, did you forget? <laughs> Right? Uh, just talk to him some more then, maybe. Hi. Hey, Bella. I don't remember telling you my name, but okay. You, you did. Hey, about this art. Yeah? What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. <laughs> so, <laughs> nothing. Uh-huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Gotcha. Can I want I have it. it. No way, man. That thing's vintage. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. What, do you, what makes you think those are his feet? What makes you think that's a dude? Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. <laughs> slightly That's shady girl. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. <laughs> right. Later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Just, and um, yoink! Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. For a second there, I thought it was going to make me go like, You're too short. You better use a ladder. It's like, fuck You really? need a stool. <laughs> oh, God. Just don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. You have just guaranteed that I will go west. <laughs> East? Or was it West? Meh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, that's a thing. Yeah, just walk through his grass like a fucking degenerate. What are you doing? You're being horrible. Walk on the path, damn it. <laughs> God, what a terrible person. Let's let's steal his mail. I mean, hmm. you've stolen this three things from him already. And I, well, I, I only stole one thing. I only stole one thing. The other two he let me have. True. Now, would I have stealed him if he didn't? Okay, yes. Okay, which one of your but. trees has been bugging Curtis? This one. Hmm. They don't seem too chatty to me. Uh. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. You know what I gotta do. That, oh my god, you're a terrible person. I have a feeling I might regret this. But we're gonna do it! it. Murder her! Axe psychopath right here! Shh, shh. <laughs> You'll wake up the other trees! Dude, She's I gave you a mouth. She's a murderer! Okay, look, I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! No! Wow. <laughs> All right, that that was funny. Yeah. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Is that all you humans think about killing? You all make me want to puke. I mean, that's a lot of what we think about. There's also money right. and sleep. Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me. I'm going to wake up this whole forest! Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. It makes me sick. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. Wow. 
Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up, but I won't do it because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. He didn't like you. He doesn't. I'm here on behalf of I mean, the I mean, not many people do. Uh, Actually, no one does. Psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce mining her own branches, then he comes along. Mining Next her own branches. Her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. So, I just gotta point out, this guy couldn't talk before. Uh -huh. We chop him, and now he's got a mouth, so he should be fucking thankful. <laughs> we gave him the gift of speech. His sure. ungrateful ass won't even give us any sap. Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... he butchered her. Turned her into a... a stool. Oh, oh God. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, ruthless stump. Ooh. Well, fuck that guy. Yeah. And he called you names. Hello, Shellmound. Looks Welcome like my to Shell Mound. hasn't gotten here yet. Welcome to Shell Mound. Looks like a shithole. I mean, oh, it's a fishy boy. place, so yeah. So smooth. Okay, now... Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just yeah. think my baking town is still standing. Nice no, fuck, fuck those people. They were going to let you die. They well, I mean, Mary Loft let their people die, and Shaman's about to do the same thing. Excuse me. That doesn't mean uh, I like mayor? them either. What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Uh... Because you should be. Because you should be a mayor. Young lady, I like the way you think. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people. For now. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. I don't smell like day old fish. Ooh. Yep. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I have it? Certainly not. It's an integral part of my soon to be mayor look. Are you saying I smell bad? No, oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds with a hint of fresh pine. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I I'm feel sure like she has a fragrance recipe. She'll I feel share. like I'd rather smell like Vela does than anyone in this town. Yeah, yeah. Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea, she is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. There has to be a Maiden's Feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. But when he comes here and sees <laughs> no offering arena... Hearing only what you want to hear. Oh, yeah. Spy, or worse. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. Duh. When is Mog Chopper supposed to get here? Any minute. So much to do. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams. Just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child. But this construction... Construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. Right. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks terrible on you. It might cost you the election. How? That's screwed. Whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist, or a girl wearing half a dress? 
Ooh, Ooh, got him. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. No, give it. <laughs> what? What about it? I will do every dialogue. It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Boom. You got it. You just Thank picked you, every other option. <laughs> firing my stylist tomorrow. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. All right. You got the bucket. Good job. I have a feeling I know what I need to do with it, but we'll talk oh, to these people you. first. No, just, you know, theories. Hmm. Hi. You maidens getting ready for the maidens Oh, feast? God. Yep. They're trying to lure Mog Chathra. But oh, God, I hate it. I want to be in the maidens' feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. So I've heard. I'd want a friend to tell me that. <laughs> hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible <laughs> to Mog. Beast Hooker. There's moogles in this game? Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. The Beast Hooker is probably literally just like a it. fish in, like, a dead fish in water. Probably. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody going to miss those hooks? Not as much as they're going to miss us. You're going to make me cry, girl. You maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't going to get the offering arena ready before Mog Chothra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dads donated so much to his campaign. I mean, maybe they shouldn't have donated them. Don't you guys ever wonder? I can see why their dads want to get rid of them. To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. Hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Huh, not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already <laughs> killing it in this outfit. Yeah. Just standing here. See you, maidens, later. Ciao! What's up here? I don't know. We're just up there. Death. Please. Oh. It is. A sighted stranger approaches. Not so fast. Is it a bubble gun? Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Uh oh. Use the <laughs> oh yeah. You're about to get tear gas. God sees no one. The the what? Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. All right. As if you didn't know. Who's the Dead Eye God? The Messiah from the sky. Oh, I came from the sky. A miracle object. Right. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. Uh, all right. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Probably. I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. Can I have it? Can I go inside? 
You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Yeah. Why? Because you guys are guarding it, so it must be cool. Oh, it Fair is. Fair point. Extremely cool. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. But what no if? One. Well, unless what? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. No problem. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed. Up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Sounds like a tree. Yeah. Bring us the solution and you may enter the pyramid. Boom. What's the battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Yeah, mm. well, I mean, we'll feel Sounds like we should do that. Mm. We, we should break the sage. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh. Um. If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. And just walk oh. past them. Yeah, I was like, how would you? Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Uh. Yeah, something to read. They're fucking blind. <laughs> a refreshing beverage? No thanks. I've got a flask of barnacle juice under this robe. Uh. I it's barnacle juice over here. Uh. Hey, can I get you guys some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah. Here. Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Itch. Can I go inside? I don't really, if I'm being completely honest. Then be gone. Yep, fair enough. <laughs> All right. Give, they just give you the holy tear gas. You're like, yeah. Like, can, can, can I have your weapon? Sure. Cool. These fishing poles are useless. All the hooks have been stolen. But I could still poke something with it. So I want to do this. Okay. Never mind. I don't think it's smart to carry it around in an open container with those gulls around. What about this? Come to me, old chum. Turns out I don't know what to do with the bucket. Cause that's what I was gonna do with it. Oh. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do with it. Because uh, I was thinking, it's like, oh, the snake. Give it dirty fish guts and it'll go away. But now that I have this, maybe that's what I have to do with the snake, is this thing. Well, uh, for now, yeah, you don't have anything left to do in Shellmon. You do need to go back. Yep. Hey, this guy. Hey, guy, listen, listen, hey. No, Fuck you. He just screamed more. That was the point. <laughs> what if I show him... <gasps> Found some driftwood down by the beach. You're a monster. That's morbid. <laughs> but at least it's natural and hasn't been perverted by you humans. You, that's what you think. I've got some art that might make you sick. Is it made of wood? Actually, I've never seen this material before. Then I doubt it would make me as sick as the horrors made by your lumberjack friend. All right. We'll be back mm -hmm. for the stool. <laughs> oh, now we run fast. All right, hey guy, um, I got some wood. Check it out, non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh <laughs> man, I feel a stool coming on. Oh that's... no. Oh, um, whew, that's a relief. Tell me. About I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to <laughs> Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Oh, God. I'm just gonna uh, never talk to him again. That's great. I remember that. Jesus Christ. Episode title. Stool sample. 
No, no, I don't think it will be. <laughs> see, I see, see, see. I'm afraid of what the search, like what people find have this video when they search stool. <laughs> I don't, I don't want that. Hey, Mr. Tree. Sorry to do this to you, but. Oh my God, is that mutilated tree flesh? Yep. You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood. Oh my God. To get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath. <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! To be fair, you were being an asshole. Hmm, it's already soaking into the ground. I have to catch it when it's fresh. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Do it again. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? You are a terrible person at trees. Y hey, listen, man. If a tree starts talking to me I and hurling abuse, tree's gonna get what's coming to it. I can move. It can't. You can still see the grain of the wood. Alright, never talk to him again. Let's go check out the snake business now. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. That's not a snake. Wait, is this east? West? Hey! Uh, let go! Can't breathe. I'll use something. Okay, so do not go that way. Got it. But what if... Okay, I... Better not. No, that doesn't need to be any thicker or stickier. I don't think. All right, I don't know. There. Yeah, there's nothing to do there. I mean, you can get a cheat if you want. Okay, I want it. Okay. Do I have what I need for it? Yeah. Nah, that Just doesn't need walk over. Sun. Especially not a vintage crystal. Okay, this time I'm sure I went the right way. Now we play the waiting game. Oh, we die. Uh huh. You can read the sign if you want. In case of snake, blow horn. You're welcome, Curtis. Can I? I want to walk away. Come this way. So, have you ever just watched somebody slowly get strangled to death? <laughs> You're about to. I mean, I, I've I've heard described. But it, you know, he got better when he came back. Don't want to die this way. But uh, I'm so dizzy. It, it's okay. You'll be fine. Stupid you'll you'll respawn. Oh. God damn! How long is this gonna last? Where am I? Right? Where am I? What? <laughs> this is. Come on. <sighs> there it is. I told you not to go that way. I'm not good with directions. Neither is he. It's fine. Okay, well, I said I was yep, never going to talk to him again, and apparently that turned out to be a lie. Yep. All right, well, I think we'll go ahead and end this part off here, and we'll pick up next time uh, going back to Shell now that we got the tree sap and whatever we're going to do with that. All right. See you all then. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.